Aren't people impressed by expertise, science, jargon and technical detail? Well, yes and no. Let me explain why it pays to keep it short and simple when you're trying to influence and persuade. If you sound like a deep expert who speaks in jargon and goes into great detail about everything, then here's what people will think. They'll think you're an expert who clearly knows a great deal about stuff. Or someone who seems to. You probably do, but maybe you don't. How would I know? The best you can hope for is they think you know what you're talking about. At worst, they aren't really sure. And maybe they don't trust you. And that's a risk. What they certainly don't think is, I know what you're talking about and I completely trust you. But that's what you want, isn't it? If you can take what is complicated and subtle and explain it in such a way that the people around you feel they really do understand it, makes it simple for them, then you will not only demonstrate your expertise and your knowledge, you will make them feel good about themselves and therefore about you. When they feel they understand it, then they can trust you and be persuaded by your ideas. Now they think, I get it, it's clear. And this person certainly understands what they're talking about. I trust them and I'm convinced. You have made them feel good and you've triggered that recognition that only real experts can explain complicated stuff in a straightforward way. The fake experts hide behind jargon so you won't notice they don't really understand what they're talking about. I like to think of the five-year-old test. Would an intelligent five-year-old understand my explanation? Because if I can't explain it clearly to an intelligent five-year-old, then maybe I don't understand it well enough. There is a simple influence equation. The influence of your message is equal to the quality of your message divided by the effort it takes to understand it. And there are four keys to keeping it short and simple. First, select only what really matters. Second, choose relevant, helpful and familiar analogies. Third, structure your information into small chunks and present them in a logical sequence. And fourth, stage your explanation or your argument. Take your time and check understanding at each step. I'll keep it short and simple and say no more. Please do give a thumbs up if you like this video. I'll be creating loads more great management courses content for you. So please do subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And in the meantime, keep learning.